The atmospheric pressure in this case, P0, is 980 millibars. A bar is defined as 10 to the fifth pascals, so this makes P0 0.980 times 10 to the fifth pascals, or 9.80 times 10 to the fourth pascals. Part A of this problem asks us to find the pressure at the bottom of the tube. That's the pressure right here. We'll label it P sub B, where the absolute pressure is the pressure at the top of the column, atmospheric pressure P0, plus rho GH, where rho is the density of the fluid, that's mercury, and H is 7 centimeters, the height below the reference level. When you calculate that, you find that the pressure at the bottom is 1.07 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Part B asks for the pressure at a depth of 4 centimeters below the same reference level. That's the pressure right here, and we can label that P4. So we make a very similar calculation, just replacing H with 4 centimeters in this case. And that gives us a pressure P4 of 1.03 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Part C asks for the absolute pressure P of the gas in the bulb. The pressure P is assumed to be constant throughout the tan gas region. So the pressure right here at the gas mercury interface is also P. At the same depth in the mercury fluid, the pressure is constant, so P has to equal P4, and that's 1.03 times 10 to the fifth pascals.